The number one free mid-journey alternative just released their version 2 model. Blue Willow AI Image Generator got a major upgrade this week, which means you're going to get better quality outputs with improved aesthetics. In this video, we're going to be comparing the differences between version 1 and version 2. If you're new to Blue Willow, make sure to check out my introduction video linked in the description. Let's get started. To start off, we are going to use a sort of intense prompt here. It's a digital painting of a woman in a deer crown. So that's the main subject. And the rest of these are just words for me to get like a better image. Um, I just wanted to see like how far of a detail that they can do. I did put a dash dash one here, meaning that this is version one uh, of Blue Willow. So what that you've seen like in the past and it's not version two. I think this version is not bad at all, especially in the free community. Like you can do so much and if you play with your words, you can get better images. Um, as for version two, I'm going to show you what it has done for me. It is pretty amazing in terms of the level of detail. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Um, I think the details on the hair to the eyes to the makeup is far better. I'm using the exact same prompt except it's V2. Um, V2 is automatically applied to any prompt that you use as long as you're in Villa or using the bot. So here it's very simple, very nice, and very intricate. Um, I did make these a little bit bigger so upscale them so you can kind of see like yeah the details in version one is not bad at all you got your earrings it's just that you can tell something's always missing maybe the way they read the prompt or maybe the way they put things together it always feels like somebody went into photoshop and manipulated a bunch of images together like i'm going to pull the eyes over here i'm going to pull the ears over here maybe some jewelry in and it never kind of works together as compared to, let's say, Mid Journey, where everything is like flawless or more towards that way. Um, I think that just comes down to the way the model understands you. So here, I think it understands a bit better and sort of makes things a bit more posh and better overall. And I keep using the word better, but it has improved and I do like it. Again, this is version one and the the mouth here the teeth is just it's just not there there's some something's always missing and you can always fix this in post um in photoshop or in other programs and platforms but i find that with the new version here like airbrushed while it's not a hundred percent there it's not 100 percent perfect okay you know like like the paid version of mid journey it's still very very good and i've seen so much from the community here that i'm utterly impressed <laughs> so i'm going to go up and show you a couple more here like even this one version one by itself like you can re-roll until it works for you that is always the best part of blue Willow is that you can hit this button right here and ask them to re-roll until you are happy and satisfied with your picture and there's no limitations and that's what i do i have always loved about blue Willow. Um, this image here is believe it or not version one i think it's really good again it's always there at like 90 percent for me and it's missing this sh shoulder pad here but um version two is winning me over i'm definitely excited to keep learning the language of blue willow and learning the language what i learned in mid journey applying it over here um see what i can do and i'm i'm also been visiting the community a little bit more and seeing how people have vastly improved. Um, I've also just taken prompts directly from Mid Journey that I've done and applying it over here and I can see like, you know what, Blue Willow is not bad at all. Why don't I just give it a little more try? So hopefully with this new update that they just did, people are going to give them a little bit more chance. You know, I think they are heading towards the right direction and with a large, like insanely large growing community here. I'm super excited to see what they, what else they can bring. So as I mentioned, I love studying portraits and I find that Blue Willow version 2 has really been able to improve on what they have lacked before. Like they had bad reputation for giving you poor uh, versions of your creations, but this right here to me is highly improved. It's not 
anywhere perfect again but i do like where they're going because before i do remember a lot of people were testing pictures and unless you have an art artistic or style it just never looked right and for me this is really photorealistic uh, from far away i think it looks good just when you zoom in it's just a little bit off but it's not bad at all and so you can see i've been trying a couple of things here like the image itself looks good like the human the person looks good to me like I, I like the the effect that they have i just trying different things i think for these i was just trying a couple of different uh prompts in terms of what i learned from mid journey so photorealistic and cinematic that's why i get this sort of airbrushed effect that just kind of goes from every every single portrait here but um i do like it um just re-rolling and re-rolling until something works for me as you can see i tried with some uh, previous ones but only one turned out okay the others just had messed up eyes and uh it's not a deer crown it's an actual deer so um again trial and error with blue willow is what i learned and just hit that re-roll button you know it doesn't hurt and it's unlimited so um, keep going until you see what works best for you. Um, at, at the top, I did try a couple of different things in terms of like a humanoid student studying in an arcade. They look like they're in Vegas and that <laughs> that is not good because they're students. But I think overall, my impression of this is even the clothing and the way it's set up is a lot better. So let me know what works for you and i'm super excited to hear more and learn more along with you thank you if you're a sick and tired of endlessly scrolling down to find your creations i highly suggest adding blue willow bot to your server to do that you just click on any room generally any of the rookie rooms you can find the blue willow bot at the top you can see as i click on different rookie rooms uh, once you click on there just click on blue willow and then add to server. In this server, you select the one that you want to use and then press continue. You're gonna allow all of those and then hit on authorize. This is my private server, so I'm not really worried about sharing it with anybody else. If you do have a community server, I don't recommend you adding it to that, but just try your personal server first. This way, everything is a little bit more quiet. I'm gonna choose I am human, and once you're authorized, you're gonna go ahead and switch to your server on Discord, and you'll see that in the server here, I have added Blue Willow, and you can start as you can. So it's actually added down there, and then there's some information that you can read. Um, I do want to note to you that it's best um, for you to use the server when you can. They are constantly testing over there, and everything's a little bit faster. Similar to Mid Journey, where you have a relaxed mode if you're on the paid mode, it's just a way for you to just send in a prompt, you know, take some time, do something else, switch to a different window, come back to it. So that's perfect for that. It's not that slow, but I find that within the server in Blue Willow, it is faster. 